Hello, Mario Mario54321 here, and I want to talk about one of my previous videos that I've made in the past called Dr. Mario vs. Wonderflu. Long ago, I made a poll on my channel asking you guys which of my videos you'd like me to do a commentary on after I did my Q&A livestream. Dr. Mario vs. The Wonderflu once, so here you go. What you're seeing right now is the trailer for that project, and obviously this project was made in anticipation for the video game Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and it was made before Mario Wonder came out on the switch so what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be providing some commentary on that video some interesting trivia and tidbits some of which you never knew before for example here at the beginning of the trailer you can see that dr. Mario is shrugging that's his losing animation from the original dr. Mario NES game I think it's obvious to you why dr. Mario is making that animation all right so going into the video you can see what the video is about the Mushroom Kingdom was hit with a mysterious disease called the Wonder Flu. The opening monologue talks about this disease and explains it a little bit. Also, the Wonder Flu is made up of these three new viruses, and because Dr. Mario has no idea how to combat them, that's why Dr. Mario is making that pose. Personally, I like how the trailer came out, and if you watch the original trailer, you can see the three viruses dancing to the song that plays for the funny Wonder Flower effect. Listen. I like the way this alone came out and it's fun to watch the viruses dance to this music. The first few seconds of the video show us a purplish crimson toad hopped up on something like he's on drugs or whatever as we'll find out in a little bit that it's because of the wonder flu. That's really what the wonder flu is, a disease that makes you high as if you were hopped up on drugs, yeah. Pretty, pretty weird concept, isn't it? But at least it's better than the original idea I had for this video. My original idea for this video was that the Mushroom Kingdom was going to be invaded by a new strain of coronavirus. It was going to be a mutant strain of coronavirus with poison mushroom in it. Yeah, the coronavirus. I'm talking about the coronavirus. COVID-19 from 2020. It was going to be about Dr. Mario and Dr. Luigi having to fight a new strain of the real-life coronavirus. And after trying and failing hard, they find out that in order to cure this new strain of coronavirus, they would need lava of a very specific type. A specific type of lava that has the correct amount of sediments and, and all that. All that scientific stuff. In layman's terms, they need lava from Corona Mountain on Isle Delfino. Lava from Corona Mountain on Isle Delfino to finish the cure slash vaccine for the poison mushroom coronavirus that this video was originally going to be about. But eventually I got bored of the idea and decided not to do it, but I did share the idea on my public Discord server and someone told me that apparently that idea was too controversial and, and much too sensitive, and I agree with that. It was a good idea, but it would have hurt some feelings, and it would not have done well. I later got inspired by Super Mario Bros. Wonder to make this instead. Instead of Dr. Mario fighting a strain of coronavirus, he'll be fighting a strain of the Wonder Flu. Given how the Wonder Flower gives the illusion of making you high, just an illusion, it, it's not actual drugs or anything, it just looks that way, but it's not actual, in the form of a disease, as I've already stated. For the rest of this video, I'll be spoiling Dr. Mario vs. the Wonder Flu, so if you haven't, go see that video right now and then come back to this one. After this sequence at the beginning, we cut to a newspaper. The text on the newspaper is readable, and anybody can just pause the video in order to read the newspaper and see what it says. Now obviously the newspaper is about the Wonder Flu and it even has an icon representing the Wonder Flu which is blue with yellow eyes and all that. This so-called anonymous user that the paper mentions is supposed to foreshadow upcoming events like who or what started the Wonder Flu in the first place. If you look closely, you'll see this newspaper even breaks the fourth wall. The video starts with a couple of toads being under the effect of the Wonder Flu, but little did you know, the video was originally going to start right with the newspaper. The part with the toads being under the effect of the Wonder Flu was originally going to come after a little bit of the monologue talking about the Wonder Flu, but I moved it so it wouldn't disrupt the episode's pacing. And yeah, I hit 90,000 subscribers around the time this was being made. The hallucination scene with the hopped up toads was originally going to be right here. 
right there. But like I said, it disrupts the episode's flow and pacing. So I thought it would be better to move it to the beginning of the video in order to generate interest in the video in like the first 10 seconds or so. And since this video was worked on prior to Mario Wonder coming out, I didn't have any talking flower voice clips for it, much less an AI voice model that I could use for the character. Pull it together, man. You've lost it. That voice model is actually Duran Norris as Timmy Turner's dad. Here's the same line of dialogue with the correct voice. Pull it together, man. You've lost it. Oh yeah, and the music that plays here is the funny Wonder Flower theme backwards. Listen. It's all green amber like this new. Also, the backgrounds here were taken from gameplay of the game. Even though my Charles Martinet tribute video was technically the first video of mine to record with Super Mario PC port, not just Project 64, this video was the first one of mine to use this many different models on that PC port. Bullies, Shy Guys, Koopas, especially Toads. I also thought I'd add some more uniqueness to the Shy Guys, but anyway. When a Toad comes onto the news to talk about his traumatic experience with a flashback, I bet there's something about this flashback that you you didn't even notice between it and the trailer. I am of course talking about the moment when Owen, the orange toad, gets scared by the elephant, despite it being a wonderful induced illusion. No man, you alright? Notice any similarities between the two? Obviously, the same scene happened from different points of view between the trailer and the final video. In the trailer, it was from Owen the Orange Toad's point of view. In the final video, it was from everybody else's point of view. Like the Mario RPG games, this video tries to make the Mushroom Kingdom come more alive, as you can see here. Someone in the comments section of the full video made a joke about how by using Pennington in this video, I somehow summoned the TTYD remake. But this video was before the Thousand Year Door remake was announced. It was purely a coincidence. I didn't know anything about it, I swear. But it is a nice little extra for the video. Then we have some OCs of mine, Marjo, Marco, Moai, and Joe Lameme, who during that point still had his face hidden behind anything. And his face would not be revealed until I hit 100,000 subscribers later on. After Dr. Mario is introduced, we get a little more exposition about the Wonder Flu and everything they've been trying to do to cure it. There's a deleted scene that almost made it into the final video but didn't because Prokang didn't want it to. In this deleted moment, Mario almost mentions the coronavirus but Prokang stops him. In the final video, it was replaced with some much needed exposition and establishment like the Wonder Vitamins. Here's the deleted scene. <laughs> Back in 2020, I made a video about the coronavirus that I ironically submitted on April 1st. But the date just happened to be around the corner and it was intentional. There was a moment in that video where I referenced Brennel Floss's take on the Dr. Mario Fever song with lyrics. Does it hurt to be? No. Is it hard to see? No. I am diagnosing you with HPV. Brandle Floss made a G-rated version of those lyrics, and the Wonderflu video references some of those lyrics. I'll check your lungs. Breathe naturally. You sound real bad. <laughs> oh, wait, that's a me. How embarrassing. Does it cut right here? No. Does it cut right there? No. Mr. Floss, I think you've got receding hair. This was also one of my Vinny videos where I started to use AI more. It was to make the voice clips sound like the characters' voices, but I still recorded them. Ah! Elephant! Ah! Elephant! Not that elephants are actually scary, but they do take the characters by surprise. Even though Joe Lamim's face is not revealed in this video, there are a bunch of teasers and a bunch of times where he almost is. Since I had reached 90,000 subscribers by that point, I figured you guys deserve it. In this scene where Joe Lamim is talking with Marco, you can see Joe Lamim's silhouette against the light of the mansion outside. And then we get to see the back of his head just before the video's main villain is introduced. Maybe the Rudy the Clown music from Dr. Mario 64 was a bit of a giveaway, but that's supposed to represent how shady this character is supposed to be at the beginning. We also get to know some characters a little better in this scene, like the backstory of Dr. Vild being Marjo's old colleague. 
Dr. Veiled appeared in the trailer for this video, but nobody seemed to notice them. Nobody seemed to care enough to notice them there. And of course, Pennington was very suspicious of them, because he's a detective. Dr. Veiled makes a reference to Goomba Towers being a doctor in Dr. Mario World, and even makes fun of that, and my character agrees with that. We also get a look at the character's query side. As serious as Hardened as the character is, they do have a query side. The viruses that make up the Wonder Flu are all taken from aspects of Mario World. Wonder. Trip Purple was based on the giant purple coin, and the video pretty much explains the rest. Ella Fever, the elephant power up, and Sewer Pipe is supposed to be the worst one. Dr. Field started the Wonder Flu as a test for Mario. They were testing Mario just to see what they were capable of. They put lots of Mushroom Kingdom lives in jeopardy just to test Mario and see what he was capable of. That's how crazy they are! Dr. Vild supposedly comes to the conclusion that the Wonder Flu is composed of the dried reverse shroom. The Reverse Shroom is an item from Mario Party 3, and the Dried Shroom is from the Paper Mario game. Here we get an interesting backstory that ties into a really old video of mine. Back in 2007, I made a video called Mario's Tower. It was two parts, and then later three parts long. It was one of those old videos that I made that had really poor writing and really poor pacing and really poor making of whatever I'd had. Not only does Wonderflu flash back to it, but it also tries to make some sense of it. In both the flashbacks and the trailer, we get these two new characters, Reverse Bandit and Reverse Toad, a couple of drug dealers that deal in dried reverse shrooms. The trailer also tries to make you think that those two are the main villains. If you pay attention, you'll notice the times that the new video referenced the old video. Those aren't cat statues, Mario, they're dog statues, and they're not even statues, they're just frozen or something, I don't know. But yeah, this is a reference to Raiko, Entei, and Suicune. This part of the video goes into the lore of Ecritique City a little bit. Apparently, Luigi gets high on dry reverse shroom so he makes that fake tower for Mario after he witnesses ho -Oh without realizing it. Admittedly the writing from the old video is messy and didn't age well but whatever I tried to make the best of it. Like I said the new video does make a couple of small changes to make some more sense of the whole thing. I used to use Toadstool 64 but for this I used Quad 64. The new video still refers to the bell tower as Tin Tower because that's the name it still had at the time. The idea that Rainbow Road would fit inside a tower made of pushable metal blocks retextured with the Kanto building texture? It was very random for the time, but I tried to make sense of it here. My idea for it is that the whole time Mario was inside the tower, the so-called tower, he was high on those mushrooms, like he was on drugs, like the rainbow road that he saw wasn't real. That's what I was going for. Obviously in the old video, you'd think it's real, but after watching my new video, you're convinced that it's not. You're convinced that it's all an illusion, like it was all inside Mario's head. And I thought it made more sense that it was all an illusion, that it wasn't real. Now, these sets of flashbacks that I retconned in this way weren't specifically for nostalgic purposes, but... My entire reason for making them is that I also had in my head an idea for a sequel to Mario's Tower at the time involving the towers on Isle Armor. S a fan gave me an idea for it, but you know, I, I thought about doing it, but it never came into fruition because Mario's Tower, the old video, it didn't do so well, so I figured this new video idea wouldn't do so well either, so I just never made it. Alongside the coronavirus video, this is the other idea that I shared with my fans on the Discord server. As you can see here, the deleted scene for Mario's Tower, or as it should be called today, Part 3, the part where Mario goes on and on about how he's gonna build a giant tower because he and Luigi are broke, uh, apparently, I wanted that to be an illusion too because, you know, it would make a lot more sense with the battle tower already being there. Mario getting depressed and taking those dried reverse shrooms is what played into that. So there you have it. Mario's tower as a flashback played its role in this because I wanted to bring that back somehow and I figured why not combine it with my wonder flu thing which was supposed to be a coronavirus thing but now isn't for good reasons. And after working this pair of drug dealers into the video, we get to see where they are and we get to see their whole operation of dried reverse reverse shrooms. I even have a voice in mind for Reverse Toad. He's basically Toad's voice but with an accent. A New Jersey accent. God damn it, Albie! You know you don't need the mic, you big damn blow! Wait a minute! Ah, uh, quamp sex! Let me know in the comments below what you thought of that.
Luigi wanted something bad to happen to Reverse Bandit and something bad did happen. This is a reference to the pink elephants on parade thing from Dumbo. And as a little easter egg, that... That right there that you saw, that ele that's Fred Fred Burger from The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. This line of dialogue from Luigi is meant to tie in the slightly retconned events from an old video of mine into this new video. The doctor's office from Dr. Mario Miracle Cure is seen briefly during the montage where Dr. Mario and Dr. Luigi try to find the cure for the Wonder Flu with what they already have. And I timed some of the pill placements to the music. You're welcome. We did get a big blocky odor from an anonymous peep the other day. Now obviously Reverse Toad is talking about Dr. Vild, and this is the part of the video where the pill placements are timed to the music. Again, you're welcome. This is the part of the montage that appeared in the trailer. As you can see, Dr. Vild appeared in the background. This montage in the trailer was the first official time Dr. Vild ever actually appeared in any of my videos. Take a good look at the board that appears at this part of the montage. Notice how the dried reverse room is pointing all the way over to the trip purple virus. That's because trip purple is the part of the virus that induces hallucinatory properties. Just like the dried reverse room. The elephant fruit power up is next to the ella fever virus. That's pretty self explanatory. And we have sewer pipe pointing to a DNA strand. That's just something I added for fun but I think it could represent like sewer pipe pointing out humans mortality. All living things mortality or something. In this part of the montage where Mario and Luigi keep trying and failing, trying to position the wonder vitamins so that they'll take out the wonder flu viruses, but they keep failing. I slowed it down so you can see it, and you can see the positions that the pills are in, and that's pretty cool, right? Remember earlier in the video when the yellow toad said, Yo man, you alright? But in the trailer we saw what Owen saw, and Owen thought it was a talking flower. Yo man, you alright? Just for kicks, this is what the talking flower should sound like. Yo man, you alright? If you paid enough attention, you could tell from the montages that Pennington was going around questioning everyone. He was going around interrogating them for answers. The talking flower tells him that everyone in the flower kingdom is immune. Since this was before Mario Wonder came out, you can tell that the newspaper is of very bad quality and the picture of the Poplin and Prince Florian, I took it from whatever source I could find. I, I didn't have very many good sources at the time. Oh yeah, here's some more differences between the talking flower voice I used and the correct talking flower voice. At least everyone here is immune. At least everyone here is immune. As Dr. Mario and Luigi struggle to try to cure the Wonder Flu, just as the virus thinks it won, just as things look their darkest, just when you think Mario and Luigi have tried everything, just when you think Dr. Vild is giving up on them, Mario gets an idea. He realized the Wonder Flu is made up of things and essence from the Flower Kingdom, so of course he used power-ups from the Flower Kingdom. Power-ups and other forms of essence that come from the Flower Kingdom. If you pause at the right time in the video, you'll find another Easter egg in the video. One of the things Mario adds to the Wonder Vitamin is talking flower pollen extract. If you look closely at the label, you'll see that the extract itself is guaranteed fresh until October 20th, 2023, the same date as the release date for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Hopefully Mario used the extract because that extract has long since gone bad. Finally, the Wonder Vitamins work on the viruses and take them out. But Dr. Vild won't be convinced until the Wonder Vitamins actually work on a person. <laughs> Oh, sorry, haha, <laughs> I was playing that backwards. But yeah, we get to see and experience what Wario is seeing and experiencing, which is the Wonder Flu, of course, with the funny Wonder Flower music playing backwards, and Wario doing a bunch of his voice clips. <laughs> the last thing Wario says in this scene is hurry up! That is Wario secretly telling Mario and Luigi to hurry up with the cure. It was no coincidence that I put it there. Anyway, the pills work and Wario is cured, so now everyone's happy. Everyone. Well, except for Dr. Vild who's surprised. So now Mario goes around the Mushroom Kingdom curing everyone who's been hit with the Wonder Flu. If you pay close attention, the color pill that each character is hit with resonates with what type of Wonder Flu they have. Purple means they got the trippy parts. Gray means they're seeing elephants. 
and Teal means that they're acting rather suicidal or they feel that way. It all depends on what I feel each character experience. Mario even sticks it to Reverse Bandit and Reverse Toad. We get to see Marjo, Marco, Mawai, and Joe Lamine one last time. So yeah, Princess Peach was mainly just having hallucinations. These two Toads were seeing elephants and having thoughts of suicide. Trippy and thoughts of suicide, purely trippy, trippy plus elephants. Oh, and the Orange Toad was only seeing elephants. And the Toad next to him in the PC port, he's called By Toad for some reason. So I went with all green because an almost unnoticeable reference to how some types of people contemplate suicide. Not gonna get into that, B plus elephant, and so on and so forth. With how I made the light blue toad Cyrus and the orange toad Owen really like each other and really be good friends during the editing process, I decided to make them a couple to add some realism and uniqueness to this world, like the good Mario RPG games do. Oh yeah, can't forget this. Onward and upward. Onward and upward. Oh, don't worry, I'm real. Keep going! Oh, don't worry, I'm real. Keep going! Finally, near the end of the video, we get another newspaper saying the Wonder Flu is cured and everything's good now. Which, like the other one, you can pause in order to read everything it says, including some information about Marjo and Marco. Did you know that they have their own stocks? That's how rich they are. If you know how stocks work, then you get it. The video seems to end with Mario and Luigi staring out into the horizon, wondering where Dr. Build is and whatever that was about them. This includes another crudely made newspaper from the Flower Kingdom, according to which even they don't know how the wonder flu started. Did you notice how the two newspaper headlines rhyme? Finally, at the end of the video, we learned that it was Dr. Bill who created the wonder flu in the first place. And who sent that mysterious letter? Well, after Pennington's suspicions are confirmed and he reveals his presence to Mario and Luigi, not to mention the anagrams that the letter includes, it's revealed that the person who sent the letter was Morty Murr, a character that only ever appears in my Halloween videos. In any other video of mine, including the Wonderflu one and this one, he only ever gets a mention or something. He used to be called Mitchell Myers up until my 2022 Halloween special. He's got his own story and lore in my videos. You should you should watch them all to find out. H how is it that that I'm just now noticing how in every thumbnail of my videos that has Morty Murr in it, that Master of Worlds, a friend of mine, somehow manages to always appear next to him. I'm definitely sensing a pattern there. Masters, if you're watching this, let me know what you think about this in the comments below, unless you already have. Speaking of that story arc, it comes into play in this next part of the video. Heaven of a Bass is a fictional fish that happens to be a very rare bass found only at the bottom of the Arctic Ocean, closer to the Earth's core than the bottom of the Marianas Trench. It is the favorite fish of a character called I Am Dabasovich. He first appeared in a video of mine called Super Mario 6664 Bloopers. This was way back in 2013 though, along with another character called Poor Guy. Both characters also made an appearance in a 2017 video of mine called Making the Switch. Mr. Deboss as a Switch seller and Poor Guy as a lottery announcer. If you couldn't tell, Dabasovich is pushing Poor Guy around. Dabasovich and Poor Guy are two characters that are going to tie into Morty Murr's story as well. But don't forget to pay attention to Dr. Vild. Everybody's got a take on the story, as do they. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Here we have Cyrus and Owen as a cute couple with everything being back to normal now. And of course, every character in this video appears at least twice. Do you remember this black shy guy from earlier in the video? That black shy guy is supposed to represent authority in this video. Luigi having to pay up a lot of money because he broke an oil pipe. And here he's ordering Reverse Bandit and Reverse Toad not to make any more drugs. He pulls out a cease and desist order and everything. That's it. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and all that. Hey, thanks for watching. Hold on, we can do better than that. Hey, thanks for watching. Much better.